comes the axe. Prove yourself. Will he go something like a Mask of Madness this game? You know, being that he's more reliant on himself and wanting to farm, so that, that, that's kind of the question for me. Yeah, I'm not totally sure. Like I said, we haven't really seen... Oh, I was watching it. So the yes and why. Um, will he go something like a Mask of Madness this game? You know, being that he's more reliant on himself and wanting to farm, so that, that, that's kind of the question for me. Yeah, I'm not totally sure. Like I said, we haven't really seen... Oh, I was watching it. Hunk of favorite. Oh, he tried to TP. Oh no! <laughs> the axe brings him back, and now he's gonna get caught in the jungle by guess who? Kunkka of all here down here. Yeah, he's, he's just free had farming. a completely free lane. Uh, King Tag has just been in the jungle actually, where Alchemist is now. So, uh, two heroes in the jungle before ten minutes is definitely not how you want them. He slept. You have to die nearby. No tombstone oh. though, even yet. He does have a rip, but nothing really nearby. It's gonna be a weak heal. No chance. He didn't even use a rip. Long run it didn't, but uh, they had their moments. But yeah, this is this is looking like a game that could be a just absolute stomp, unfortunately. Uh, it's already a 4,000 net worth lead for the non-Alchemist team at 8.5 oh, minutes. Top life lane, drain. life drain's not enough to actually kill him, but at 3 seconds on the Fissure, 2 seconds, 1 second, Ooh. Nether Blast will take care of it as expected. And it's a very short cooldown, only 5 seconds. So yeah, you do catch that agility shift morphling. It definitely could be a kill. Uh, to happen, but look at he's pushing out here. It throws out an adaptive strike on a dying. Well, that rip to heal up some of that damage at least, but oh, he's gonna take oh, over stunned. the centaur. Going for the turn kill, Ritsu. What a player in the face of centaur. It's like he didn't even... um, he's gonna go secure the bounty runes first. And uh oh, well, how about this rotation? Maybe you just need to do something radical like this, and sure enough, it works out to kill Morphling. As those 10 minute bounty rings spawn, Laposa also in trouble. Brain sap heals, delays it initially. Flake, great cutoff right there with the Fissure. Didn't necessarily cut them off, I guess, but it does kind of block them in. However, the power shot will still land in the flat cannon auto attack. I was been having a rough time top, so might as well go to a different lane, even if you sacrifice this tier one tower. Not the most important tower in the game. Um, getting your gyro a little bit of a boost. Now, we'll use it here to maybe save Undying. Eh, it's not worth it. X comes out anyways. So easy kill on Undying. Top lane, meanwhile, it's ADR and Flea are up here by themselves. So Centaur, he used Stampede already. Should be dead on this. Now. Yeah, it's, it's, he's just going to delay as much as he can. <laughs> people? Or I, I do it again. I don't know why. <laughs> Decrepit. <laughs> Playing free farming bottom lane anyways. And yep, 5k lane. net worth now at 12 minutes into an Alchemist team. Obviously, Elf will catch up eventually, but... Oh, boy. Not if they keep getting picked up. Running away as Pugna comes in at the last second. But Undying is actually going to survive an CCC ADR. CCC then gets another kill. Oh, yeah. CCC's cleaning up in the back lines. Just because why not? He's 5 on one Pugna, you grab a fine three seconds. A life drain's going to keep alive anyways. A call down. Not enough damage. The axe was used just in case. Undying, he's also in trouble. No, the Fissure block actually an issue. Nether Blast. It's going to connect. Well placed by ADR right there. Meanwhile, Centaur's in late. He's got Stampede. No way that's going to come into play, though. Yet for them to even have a chance in this game. Now, something that the Radiant team has kind of been doing, they've been not necessarily together as a full team. They've been in these squads of, like, two as we see right here. So this is what I was going to talk about. You know, take advantage of that. Go as five and try to kill both of them in response, if anything. Now, Bane is going to fall, but CC and C, he's just too beefy. He's got, you look at it, he's 2,000 plus life with that rum drink used uh not a worth it trade no and that is a good point you know we have seen this pain x team in the past get a little bit over aggressive have their players kind of out of position going for a little bit too much greed but <laughs> this game really just and they go for the smoke they're not stopping oh no they smoked right into them cc and c oh the big fissure out comes the ship and it is absolutely a disaster for Braxstone, trying to make a play yet again. It just completely backfires. Just call it. Yeah. yeah.